Alright guys, we are actually picking up our fifth cow right now, which is a, a Jersey. Um, she's a full-size Jersey. We're going to be picking her up. She actually is ready to milk. I've milked her here at this farm that we're at now, um, but I've never milked her at, in my stanchion, so I'm, I'm kind of anxious to see what's going to happen tomorrow. She's supposed to be milked at about 4.35 or in the morning, so we're going to have fun with it. So uh, you'll be able to see her in just a little bit. Her name is Elsa. As you know me, I, I like to name cows. I'm OCD, so I like to name cows A, B, C, D. So we've got Allie and Beauty and Sizzle, which is our steer. And then we have uh, Daddy-O, which is our bull. She's getting ready to come home and provide us a lot of meal. So we're excited, a little nervous, and uh, we'll let you know how it goes in the morning. Here with Elsa at the farm. We're gonna let put her out. She'll join Daddy O and Allie over there. Are y'all excited about the new cow? Yeah. What about you, Ellie? Are you excited? And we got the Anguses, the steer, and the one that bothers me the most. Well, we're supposed to get ready to unload. doing we spent as I said in the earlier video we spent literally three hours trying to get this cow in there to milk so what we're doing now is building a panel system that will be almost like a little catch pen right next to the one of the stanchions so we may if we know it's gonna storm we'll go and have her in that catch pen the night before and then that way we'll be ready to milk the next morning if just like tomorrow morning it's supposed to be a sunny morning so we'll let her stay in her field and then just we'll bring her up with feed but the problem was this morning it took us two hours just to get her in the stanchion and then yeah, one problem after the other the electrical didn't work for a little bit then the pump then she kicked me and kicked the pump so now we i think we've got a good plan and we will see how it works out tomorrow but hey we did get a gallon of milk uh, it might have hair in it and everything else but uh, we hand milked her and at least got a good a gallon gallon and a half off of her so uh, we'll see what happens for tomorrow Day two. It is, I've been out here for about 20 minutes. Um, I've got these cows outside the little pen, which is going to be Allie and Daddy-O. Now, got the milker, everything set up. The setup, I think, looks a lot better. I've got uh, Elsa in her pen, and we're going to see if we can get her in the stanchion and get her ready to milk. So, a lot better start to the day. Let's see how it ends. Well, a successful milking day. It's only been about 40 minutes. Got my big helper over there with his cool hat on. The two cows stayed out and did good, the bull. And of course, Ms. Elsa did great. So she is actually eating. We still have an issue here. It's like if it's not sitting smoothly, the vacuum seal will not work. Well, as you see, this is not smooth. So I had to hand milk her again, but hey, we got probably a good gallon, gallon and a half. So, so a successful milking day. We will uh, see what happens tomorrow. Ain't that right? All right, guys, it is about 5.20 uh, this morning on day four of milking. Um, yesterday, I couldn't show uh, it milking because it was storming. Um, she milked okay. She was a little feisty. But you can see it's dark. It's not raining, so we're going to go ahead and milk. Now, day three, pump still did not work. So I'm not even taking it out there today. Uh, it takes an extra 60 or 70 pounds of lifting, and, and then also... It takes about 15 20 minutes to see if it can work and get it working and i'm just not worried about troubleshooting at this time so uh, i'm gonna call the company figure out what i need to do about it but i'm just going to embrace hand milking today maybe we can get started early and get finished early and i can get her in so uh day four hopefully it's going to start a little bit better than day three all right we decided again not to use the milk machine at all because it wasn't working anyway day four they walked right in about three minutes they knew when this light came on for the little barn it was time to come in here the two cows, the alley and the bull, Daddy walked right in. I didn't even have to feed them. 
and then she followed right behind. I walked them out. It got a little crazy because Daddy O wanted some food, so he hit my buggy, but he walked on out. She walked on interstention, and we started. It's a lot better start this morning. No stress to her. She seems like she's milking a lot better. Uh, not hearing the machine makes it a lot better, so I think we're okay. The only people that's moody this morning is Allie and Daddy O because they hadn't got to get any food this morning yet. My hands are already tired because I've milked about a half a gallon. I'm just trying to get her back quarter empties before we start on the front. And I think Misty wants to try to finish her out the front. We're gonna try to milk her heavy and try to dry out completely. Try to get back to a good gallon, gallon and a half each, each day. So she's doing great. We got enough food for her. And we're conserving on the other cow's food. Just gave them hay. So I think it's a good start to a good morning. So. The queen has arrived. Elsa's doing good. Just to come to relieve me, we're gonna try to move her all the way out. Can you say something for the camera? She smiled a little bit. It's a little early for Misty. Here's the coffee drip. I know, I need the coffee drip. Aiden's blowing up our phone because he's on baby duty this morning. He's going ballistic. He told me he'd rather milk than do on baby duty, so <laughs> he might be out here tomorrow. Good job. <clears throat> Good morning. I just finished milking. You can see it is a nasty, <clears throat> nasty morning. Um, she did really good. This is about my fifth morning uh, hen milking her. Um, she got, she put off probably about a gallon. That's a three gallon jar and that's about a third full. So she put a, maybe a little bit more than a gallon off, uh, which I'm happy with. So, uh, She's getting better and better. I can pretty much flip the light on. I don't know if you can see it, but that stanchion that we've built uh, over there, right there. Um, when I flip the light on, I have to, it's dark when I basically start, but when I flip the light on, uh, all three cows go right to it. Uh, Allie, who is my jersey, I'm not milking, my low line jersey, um, she kind of helps wrangle them in there. And I don't know why, but she does. <laughs> so it's a good thing, but um, I'm getting her ready. Uh, she's bred, but uh, she's been kind of going in the stanchion a little bit, so that's helping me kind of get her prepared to, hey, this is where we come in the mornings, this is where we milk you. So I'm hoping that she will learn, learn, learn. Um, but, uh, you know, she goes, and then the bull goes, and then, of course, Elsa, the milk cow, goes. So it works really good. Um, every day it's getting a little bit better on trying to get them into the stanchion. So um, it's been a good morning. It's been a nasty morning, rainy day. Uh, in South Mississippi, it's rained, I think, every day for the last four weeks. So it's nasty. Um, my, my, my overalls are just completely muddy, and I'm muddy. So, uh, but a good day. She milked well.